Hi guys, here is Dritay Singh. Welcome to my channel WebLinux. Today I am going to demonstrate how to build a Docker file for cloning a Spring Boot application, source code from Git repository, and build the project and get ready the Docker image. It is really easy to create a custom Docker image from existing Docker image using the Docker file. So I hope you are aware with the Docker. Uh, container and uh, get this all terminology so I'm just uh, going to share that uh, why we need the docker file let's suppose you have a multiple repository and the whole multiple repository having the Spring Boot application source code and you want to build a you want to share the machine with that configuration so to running the app uh, spring boot application the minimum requirement of the machine is that the, it requires the jdk git and maven because the git command for for cloning the source code maven to building that source code and uh, jdk for running that uh, build jar build it jar okay so now let's uh, have a look how it will work so let's understand what i have already i have a docker machine where image on a my docker hub repository uh, with the minimum requirement which is already installed there the jdk installed git installed and memin installed this is the machine image okay now i have a one repository this is the yml files uh, let's have a look on uh, this one this is the docker repository on uh, my docker hub repo on uh, my bitbucket this is the command to clone this source code here inside that image so i am going to uh, clone this uh, image pull this image from my docker hub repository after that i am going to clone this source code and building this source code and make available to run the application spring boot application which is start to listening the port number is 8090 okay and uh, we also check also we will check out that uh, after changing the source code on branch how the docker file manage to those changes so let's uh, start so i'm going into here and uh, first of all i'm going to provide the super admin uh, access okay so now let's come into my document and here is the launching station okay here is the git station here you can see I have a one docker file already so let's explain this docker file so here the first line of this docker file is the from this repository this image I am going to pull docker image after that working directory I am going to change so this is going to inside the home and uh, after that it uh, start cloning from the my git repository this one so the source code is located on this location so it cloned that one and i am going to provide the access where the source code in that uh, directory so that directory name is named as a docker after the cloning so i'm providing the access in changing the working directory on that where the pom is available so i am jump inside the source code and run the maven clean and maven install and the target file after the maven install the target file will get generated so i'm jump into that directory where the uh, jar uh, executable jar will be allocated okay so after building this uh, docker file you found the docker image okay let's check we have uh, how many number of docker images we have a uh, two only so i am going to just building this image file this docker file haven't i am going to put the new name git docker for the docker image which is going to pull from the my docker hub repository so you can see it is uh, pulling the image from my docker hub repository at uh, changing the home and cloning the git cloning from the git source code cloning 
it is going on source code clone done it providing the source code folder it provides the source code directory to the access jump inside the source code cleaning the source code and uh, build successfully running the installation inside the source code so installing this one after the installation executable jar will be located inside the target folder so build successfully done it is changing the directory and here we are docker images you can see here the docker images one is the git docker you can see git docker and the root means a uh, parent image is this one so the parent image is with the minimum requirement which is the java that means jdk there and git command there and maven command there but the customize image is this one where the your source code is cloned from the git and executable jar is there so we can start this by executing docker uh, run hyphen it and i am going to expose the port number where it is running so let's see on the gate where it is running it is mentioned 8090 okay so i am going to expose 8090 8090 okay now provide the git docker image name that means you can see it will directly jump into the target folder here i am you can check ls this is the executable jar is available java i'm tech sorry iphone jar you can see it will start to listening it is started 8090 you can access on a browser which already i have accessed 8090 here okay it is running you can stop this one you can check here it is running or not it is not running i am just exiting from this one here you can see i have created a one docker file which clone the project from the git now i am going to change the port number and check how the docker file without changing the anything you can easily get the updated code and build that code okay so in this scenario i am just pushing this changes on the server okay get add get commit iphone am port changed okay so i am pushing this one origin master so from my locale i am just pushing it on a server let's have a look on a server i am refreshing this one now the port has got changed 8080 80. okay but in our case which last build the docker file created this one which application is running on a 8090 here i am showing you how again i am going to build that docker file with the new name docker 80 okay let's see okay docker images and here is the docker image 8080 is available okay let's run 8080 so docker we have already now 80 get docker 80 okay let's see what's gonna happening 
Java hyphen char and tech. Okay, let's see what happened. It is still working, uh, running on 8090. Why it is happening? It needs to be running on 8080. Why it is happening? Many times the developers did such kind of uh, mistake. Here I am going to explain you why. We need to check Docker image command. Here you can see without remo removing the parent, I just run the build command. So Docker building. Here you can see the nano docker file. Here you can see it is pulling. It is pulling from my Docker Hub repository when on locale this image is not available only then. So whenever you want to get the updated, uh, get the updated uh, git, what? get the updated source code from the git you need to remove the your parent image okay so i am going to remove the everything rmi hyphen f i am going to remove this one also i am going to remove this one also and i am going to remove this one also okay so here you can see docker images no more here now i am going to build the docker 80 dot now let's see what's happening let's check once on a hub yeah it is changed on a that github branch 8080 let's see how it is working can see building success now installation has done now we have a new image where the spring boot application will switch from 8090 to 8080 docker images you can see here available so docker let's run the last command docker run 8080 Okay. Uh, Java hyphen char m tech dot char. And you can see here is exactly eight zero eight zero port is running, and we can also access from eight zero eight zero. Okay. Here it is accessible. So guys, make sure, I hope so, that uh, you understood how the docker file works and how we get the newest machine and newest updated code from the kit by using this docker image file. So <coughs> that's it from my side. In next video, I'll show you how to entering into the docker container a spring boot application is get automatically started you no need to provide the explicitly the command to execute the uh, execute your jar file okay so then just bye bye and please like comment and share this video as you can see here I am just closing this demonstration this docker file once take again last look these are the looks like uh, this command is getting from the docker image directory changed and uh, git repositories URL will required if switching the git repositories then you just change this and make sure whatever the repository name needs to be replaced with this okay and this one so okay thank you bye bye